Welcome to another episode of Unfinished Show, the only place where we get to finish unfinished matters. I am your host, SK Gitonga. Thank you for tuning in. Today, we are talking about hawking in the CBD. On to our first question, do you think hawkers in the CBD should be charged? Let me know what you think and make sure to comment on our social media platforms at Y254 Unfinished. Not yet. Mm -hmm. Ju... They were not employed, so they are not supposed to be charged. Yes, they should be charged because for us to run the country, the country needs something to run the economy of the country. They should be charged. They should pay taxes. Yes. Okay. It depends on whose authority they are operating under. You see, like that, or were they promised to be there by someone? Yeah, because the country is walking to the CBD just like that. There must be someone somewhere whom they are operating in this authority, something like that. Kulingana nini ya sidhani, wafai kulipisho. Wafai kulipisho kwa sababu pia, sinia wanauza, I think, kaya wapei mapato ya kutosa. So ukiwalipisha pia itakuwa cost kubwa zaidi kulingana sinia wanauza, wajua huka saa bebangi yutu nyingi sana, na kwa hatu kiasi ya kuuza. So if you are charged in a period, it's a bad thing. I think they should, they should at some point, but I think they should, the government should issue some certain hours, specific hours, working hours, I mean. Yeah, but uh, you know, Hawking brings congestion in the city, first of all. So I think there should be a strategic way that they do it. Yeah. I think they should, but the price should be at least manageable for them, because I believe it's one way to acquire revenue. And a city that is not collecting revenue maybe will run short of its capacity to run itself. So I don't see anything wrong with charging them a price, only that the price should be manageable for them. I don't think, I don't think if hawkers should be placed, because I mean, if you evaluate really the market and the hawkers, you'll find that these are young people. So definitely these are young people who are looking for money. So I don't think if they should be charged or anything or prohibited either way. I will say they should not be charged because everyone in Nairobi is trying to find a source of income and uh, to feed that one person in the family. So I don't think they should be charged in any way because the person who is inside a shop should be charged because that's someone's property and you should be accountable for it. He's out there finding source of income to feed someone because he doesn't have that amount to go and take a shop in someone's apartment. They shouldn't be charged, but they should be allocated a specific area for hawking, not just anywhere. Unashuka kwa mati, mtu wako wapo, anahawk, ugrisha mati, mifunguliwa, shika, nini. No, but they, there should be a specific area. Not like a market, but maybe specifically for hawkers, I don't know, yeah. According to me, I think they're supposed to be charged. Because as, as for me, uh, for the country to grow economically, Azima people work to a tax so that, uh, to enhance the economic growth. So it is very good for them. Even before you start hawking, you're supposed to, first of all, to go maybe in uh, KRA and pay. Then you start your business so that you can enhance the growth of economy. Yeah. Yes. Because uh, I think they're just a large number. Most of them, actually, I don't, I'm not sure if they support the economy because they just take and then take it home. But in, in terms of supporting the economy, I'm not quite sure of that. If they could be supporting maybe with five bob, it could be a plus to the economy. Yeah. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah. The food and after a family, so mbona wachadio. It all depends with the with the daily amount that they get from the from their work. So if they could get into negotiating terms, that's the only time it can be known whether to charge them. On my opinion, hawker should be not be charged because utapata hoka anauza kitu inampatia pesa mingi so just a little so they should not be charged because 
just a small scale business. So we are going to do a small amount of money which will keep him or her going. So they should not be charged. No, I don't think those people should be charged because Babu, they are trying to make a living and Chenye Wanapata is something small. So I don't think they should be charged anything. Uh, obviously, it's a mequeli. If you're making, why shouldn't, shouldn't you give out? Because we need taxes, we need revenue to be collected. And we need, uh, let's say, for instance, we need cleanliness in Nairobi. If you come and hawk, you hawk, you hawk your mayai there, you hawk your bananas there, your stuff, stuff, but there's someone who's going to clean it. Uh, by the end of the day, they're going to clean it. Something, yeah, going to now home here. No, you I'm at the end of the month, I'm going to take it to Because I'm going to take it to the house. 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 Mayai, yani anything. Hata tunguo, mwacha uchafu, uchafu pale. Ule kula chika lunch, katupa kapa bagi yako pale. So, they deserve to give out some, some tax. I do feel like they should not be charged because um, considering what they actually earn in a day, the amount of income is lower considered to people who do nine to five jobs. So, I feel like it's not fair. Also on the good side, I feel like it would be a good control measure if only there's like a reasonable amount of um, fee that is cut from that. On to our next question. Do you think hawkers contribute to making our streets dirty? Let me know what you think. Somehow, the moment you are tempered, maybe you are going to have a bit of Maybe you are going to have a bit of money, and you are going to have a bit So sometimes they make it dead, which is not good. That's somehow, somehow, yes, because we find some some workers are selling sweets, and those those sweet, those those packages, they led to to wastage of nini, the, the those pollutants, small small top pollutants, yeah, that can lead to pollution. Yeah, true, they are, they are, they are, they are. Because, okay, you know, hawkers, they don't have a designated like, place that we will be operating from here. They move, and you know, they, when they carry their wares, you know their wares, yeah, what they sell. There are spillages, what I mean, do I mean by spillages? After, you know, they're, they're, they're chased by the, 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 the city, whatever. So during that process, some of their products drop, some of them sell immediate co consumable food. So when, 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 when a client buys, they unwrap it from there, they, they eat it, then they throw the 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 the, 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 bar, the whatever. The, the, how do I put it? The wrappers of the package, you see something like that, yeah. As for me, I don't think so. So Abu what when you wanna use it and wanna make the city to be that come on you wanna use wanna I dispose of Zuri. City and you quite tough, yeah. So, see how I want to contribute. Uh, okay, uh, yes, yes, they, they contribute because uh, poor disposal contributes to, to uh, polluting the environment. So, I think uh, there should be maybe strategic positions where they should dispose their, their maybe their waste, you know. Yeah, I think, yeah, Hawking can 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 identify the city, yeah. I don't think it's the hawkers, it's everyone and the citizens because maybe they're selling something that could result in littering but it is not their responsibility. It's not them who are, who are littering, it's us the people. So if you are not ill-mannered, for lack of a better word, and you litter, then we can't pin that on the hawkers. No! Oh my god, most of my plugs, most of my clothes plug, most of my shoes plug are hawkers. So I really don't think, and mind you, there are people who are still charged, who are still placed, who are given, basically who are just given job opportunities to clean the city. So I don't think that hawkers are really datifying the CBD or the streets. But uh, either way, um, in real sense, we are the ones who are datifying the streets by littering. I will say no because it's upon us, you know, after you use what they sell, you should be accountable for throwing it in the litter bin. Yes, yeah, so I think they're just doing their work and after they sell it to you, you should be accountable for the litter. Dirty, not really, because uh, 
I don't think like they, they loiter or something. They just have their their merchandise they want to sell. Like into a kiuza nguo si dani ana make street dirty. But like in Nairobi already to Kowengi, the population is so much. So ongeza hawkers up or in a quarter even chaos kupita. So yeah, apart from just like wakuetuna pali yao, I akuna shida. Yeah. I don't think so. Because hawkers they don't they don't how to pita kataka wanauza nguo so nguo na street kwa dati sio ni zikiendana personally so i think it's a no for me yeah. mm, 80% i'll say yes cuz the 20% i'll mean that i actually see some of them after doing their business they clean the area but most of them want to be clean the area and then when you find a crowded place there's a high probability that someone will just be dropping things and then people will be assuming. When people are many, no one will be taking control. So in terms of no control, then there's a high probability that there'll be that terms of making CBD that, yeah. Mm, I don't think so. Uh, CBD in a, in a, in a na majority of the people who make CBD that in a, Si hawkers ni usisi watu wa kawaida tu. Kitumia kitu na tupatua hapo bala weke kwa bini na ziko hapo mingi. Not really because the people who make the street that are the ignorant are. So unapata mtu amezi wa kitu na hawker. Si hawker atatumia. Ni mtu mwenye amezi wa hiyo kitu. So ya ya ndo ataenda achilia. Kama ni sweet ndo ataachilia karatasi kini. It's not the hawker. So unapata it's the ignorance of the buyers. Not the work. Well, no. As for me, I can't say they contribute to that. We ourselves, who get to purchase from them, we need to literally the the the, the town itself. Yeah. No, no. So, babu kiona kwanza hapo kwa streets, kwanza huko kiingia maliwa na anauza hizo staff zake, kwanza huwa na fagia hapo. So, mi na fikiria kwanza huwa na nini? that wanna, wanna sufficient jeej. Because uh, if you look at there, we have, we have big markets. For instance, Mudurwa. Kijivali nani nipachafu. Kituwaka jioni ni kuchafu. Asubi kukusafi. That means kuna mtukujo kuketa hiyo kitu. Kwenye usafi uh, over the night, kitu kama hiyo. So, in one way or another, they contribute kwa uchafu pia. So, watuwezi kukata wana kwa uchafu pia Nairobi. On my opinion, I do feel like hawkers do uh, take part in datifying the environment, but we also have a huge part in it. And I feel like the county government should uh, try look for ways and measures in which we can actually do the cleanup, even if it means licensing people to know who's allocated where and when. So let's go on a short break. I'll be back with two more questions. <laughs>